Hi, it's Kieran here from UNE Discovery Voyager Online. Now, this week I've been thinking about some sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are, uh, are a special type of rock which forms at the surface of the Earth, and they're kind of like recycled rocks. They're made out of little bits and pieces of other rocks. Um, sedimentary rocks are formed in places like rivers, lakes, beaches, and in the deep oceans. And a great example of a sedimentary rock is my friend here, conglomerate. Now conglomerate is made up of lots of different sized pieces of rock. So we can see some big pebbles, but we can also see there's lots of sand and mud all holding it together. And every time I look at conglomerate, one thing goes through my mind, yum. And I think yum because I think of the geologist's favorite treat, Rocky Road. Now we don't just like it because of the pun in the name, we like it because it's actually a perfect analogy for, rock, um, for conglomerate. So I want to today show you how to make your own Rocky Road conglomerate at home. Um, we'll need a few ingredients. So first thing we'll need is some dark chocolate. We'll also need something to be our pebbles. So today I've got mini marshmallows. We need something to be our sand. Um, so I've got some crushed peanuts and some shredded, shredded coconut. Make sure you're very careful in the kitchen and you don't drop things like I do. Um, and I've also got some glacé cherries uh, because my favourite Rocky Road recipe has glacé cherries in it. Um, you don't have to use these specific ingredients. If you're allergic to peanuts or you don't like cherries, you can use lollies or something else. Um, there's no real rules when we make Rocky Road. Um, if you wanna go and grab these ingredients so you can cook along with me, you can go grab them now. Uh, just pause the video and we'll come back in a sec. Okay, let's make some Rocky Road. Now, the first thing we need is a sedimentary basin, or in this case, a mixing bowl. Uh, a sedimentary basin is something like a lake or a river. It's where all the little bits of rock gather together. Um, so now we need our little bits of rock. Time for some marshmallows. You can imagine these all being tumbled down the river and being smoothed out by the water, getting rid of all those pointy bits, nice round pebbles. Now we need some sand. A nice mix of sand in here. Okay. A bit of coconut. And last but not least, our cherries. Some more pebbly cherries. And then of course we need our mud. So I've melted some of our chocolate here in the microwave. To melt chocolate in the microwave just put it in for one minute and then give it a really good stir. If you don't stir your chocolate in the microwave it can burn very easily and then it tastes really bad. And then just heat it again for 30 second bursts until there's no lumps left. Time to add our mud. And then we need to give this a really good mix so that our mud gets all over all of our pebbles and sand and can glue our conglomerate together. Does this look like a rock yet, do you think? I think we're getting pretty close. To make sure everything's nice and evenly covered, And then we need a baking tray with some baking paper in it so that it doesn't stick. And then we just tip all of this into our baking tray. Getting it into our baking tray, not onto our baking tray. And then we just want to spread it out like a nice C 
sedimentary layer in the geological record. So now we just pop this in the fridge so that our chocolate can set and stick everything together. When the little bits of sediment or all those pebbles and sand and everything gets stuck together in a rock and becomes a rock, that we geologists have a special word for that and that's called diagenesis. So here's my conglomerate that's undergone diagenesis. It's turned into a rock and we can see all of our little bits of sand and pebbles that are in there. And we have to be very careful with rock outcrops like this because sometimes we can get erosion, which is where the little bits of rock get broken off and taken away. Oh, yeah, we can, we can, we can see our rock getting eroded. Oh, I thought I made more than that. I better have some before uh, it, it all disappears. Um, we'll put a link to this recipe um, in a, a little recipe card in the link above. Uh, and I'd love to hear how your rocky road goes. Oh. Best rock I've eaten all day. <laughs>